Am I crazy for wanting to wait until marriage to have sex? I was you. When I was in my teens, up until about 21 years old, I also felt strongly about wanting to wait until marriage. Personally I ended up going through a personal journey and changed my mind, lost my V card at 22 to a long term boyfriend at the time. But that was my journey, I'm not saying it to make you feel any type of way about your decision. But speaking as someone who can look at my 20 year old self with full hindsight, my advice would be to ask yourself asterisk why asterisk this is your decision. Really deep dive into it. Because me personally, my driving force behind that decision turned out to be shame, and that took a lot of inner work to deal with both before and after the fact. I urge you to take care of your heart and your self-esteem. If you spend your whole life with a negative view on sex, you might find that it's a struggle to change that in a heartbeat just because you're married. What others are saying about sexual compatibility also has validity to it, but this is the side of it that I felt needed to be said. And truly I say it with love and not judgment. Sexual incompatibility is one of the leading causes of divorce. No way I'm waiting until asterisk after asterisk I'm married to find out me and my partner have extremely different sexual needs and libidos. It's not what I would choose or recommend, but if it is what you want out of life, then you should damn well wait till you find someone with similar values. This is your life, live it in the way that will bring you the most joy. Not crazy, you want what you want. Just keep in mind though that what you want isn't especially popular outside of certain groups, it can be hard to find someone with a compatible preference if you're looking in the wrong place. If it's already bothering your boyfriend it's likely best to move on and find someone who shares your beliefs. That said, sexual compatibility is important in the vast majority of happy marriages. I do wish you all the best. I forgot to mention that I'm 20 yo. It took me a lot of courage to write this so please be kind. I'm going to get flack for this but, yes, whereas I wouldn't use the word crazy I would call it unreasonable and extremely risky for you. Here's why. Sex is a normal aspect of people's lives and with the exception of some very few select asexual aromantic people, it is a part of intimacy in relationships. Marriage is committing to life. Yes technically you can get a divorce later if things don't work out but nobody gets married with the intent or expectation of getting a divorce later so the point of you marrying someone is that this is it, this is what you will spend the rest of your life with, for better or for worse. You usually date someone before marrying them, right? Because you want to get to know them better, see if you are compatible and to probe for any deal breakers before you choose to commit to that person for life. After all, you wouldn't just grab a random stranger off the street and immediately marry him, right? Well, sex is just another aspect of that burden. An aspect you are refusing to check, discover, explore. And if that weren't bad enough you don't even explore yourself sexually so not only don't you know whether you're sexually compatible or not but you don't even know what you want and what you like don't like, you may think you like something but you don't actually know until you try it. And I know that you might clap back with a, but I haven't had sex and it's not a big deal to me but the reality of it is that you don't actually know how big of a deal it actually will be for you once you actually experience it. Then you also need to consider how important that is to your partner too because a Marty age is not just about you and what you want, it's also about the other person. At the end of the day, it's your choice but be warned, plenty of marriages died and countless lives were destroyed being stuck in hollow, loveless and resentful marriages because people were playing Russian roulette because of some dumb romanticized notion of purity or whatever. If that's something so incredibly important to you that you're willing to take that risk, you have every right to do so, just don't complain if this seriously comes back to bite you later in life and it won't be something you can just fix or undo willy-nilly. Your body your choice. That doesn't mean there aren't potential complications. For example, 
Sexual compatibility is a big deal in a lot of relationships, not saying it will be a big deal in yours. If people wait until marriage, or some arbitrary date in the future, to discover this, they may find they are sexually asterisk and asterisk compatible later than what they would in hindsight have wished. But as long as you communicate openly about your sexual and intimacy needs now, then you'll at least have more reassurance on what you are both expecting, once sex is on the table, not literally. It kind of depends. By that I mean what the source of your reasons are. If this is just something you attribute value to personally, and something you want there's no reason anyone else's opinions should matter to you, asterisk even your boyfriends, asterisk. However if it is motivated by something external such as perceived purity ideals that a lot of religions preach and force upon their followers that is concerning. The main reason these are concerning is because, well, mostly they're a baseless means of control for a religion or men to exert over followers women. I think it is important to take a step back and see if you're avoiding sex for personal reasons or external pressure. There are no real medical, health, or physical drawbacks to abstinence that I am aware of. The only drawback is an experience which everyone suffers from at some point. If your boyfriend leaves you or cheats on you for something you made him aware of ahead of time you dodge a bullet. Edit. Oh you are gambling a bit with sexual compatibility, if you are incompatible with your husband it'll likely lead to divorce, even if everything else is good. Unfortunately never trying prior to marriage means you can't know until post marriage. Keep in mind, there are some very weird ideas about sex on Reddit and people on here are going to give you a hard time. If this is what you want right now, you should wait. There are plenty of people out there that want the same thing you do. Not if you're willing to divorce should you end up not being sexually compatible. That's a deal breaker for almost everyone. Crazy? No. But you're not some inscrutable trailblazer. Everyone understands your decision, they just disagree with it. Anyone with sexual experience tends to look at this kind of thing as being a bit childish acting as if sex isn't an important part of marriage, and just something that hopefully will be fine once you get married. And yes, your boyfriend will either cheat, or leave you, or stay and grow more and more resentful. Your body your choice. Honestly I was the same way and compromised. Breaking my promise to myself wasn't worth it for the person I was with. I'm a dude though for what it's worth. Coercive sex isn't consensual sex. Sex requires mutual enthusiastic consent. If it's not mutual, if it's not enthusiastic, it's not consent. If in your head you're not saying, yes yes yes, then with your voice you should be saying no. People who don't respect that aren't worth your time. It took me too long to learn that for myself, not crazy, no. And, for the record, if you believe that strongly, following the advice of outside randos would leave you with some pretty bad regret, I think. Really you just need to be emotionally prepared for potential consequences. Partners will be harder to find, there are some who will get impatient, and others who will think they can talk you into it. And if you marry and you're incompatible, or don't know how to advocate for yourself with this person you're now locked in with, you may be unhappy or find yourself divorcing. Just be emotionally prepared, and also remember these are all things that can happen to anyone, whether they had premarital sex or not. Totally your choice but at the same time there is merit in the argument that sex creates intimacy that is hard to find otherwise and that sexual compatibility is a large factor in a lot of healthy relationships, not all of them though. Personally I'd wait for dating after a few months, but for some people that's too long, so each their own. I like the idea of moving in with them and having sex after marriage because it feels like a significant change, but for others that stuff they want to know what it's like before they get married. Just do what suits you best, yes, no. You aren't crazy at all. You know what you want and you have every right to decide when the time is right for you. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
I'm a guy that would like to wait but it's hard to find other people willing to wait that aren't religious nut jobs. Produces a lot of pressure to get married too quickly and potentially too young. Some people are attracted to this concept because, really they don't want much sex after marriage either and the status sex and control adders matters to Jem more than anything else. That's a shitty hand of cards to get dealt after you're already legally married, assuming you definitely like life after the wedding. Sure you want to take that risk 